Hey guys, it's ZAKRC here with another Tool Thursday, and today I'm going to show you guys my Dremel 4000. I got this rotary tool about two years ago for about 60 bucks at my local Menards. And uh, yeah, it came with basically a really nice box, which I don't have with me because I don't know where I put it. And then it came with a ton of bits. Now, I found that I use these little uh, discs a lot, which probably went through about five or six of these friggin' little packages of discs, but it works pretty nice. Sometimes for a little hack, I guess you could call it, is you could double up the discs, and then you could have twice the durability in them, or you could cut thicker things with them, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I also can put drill bits in this thing and cut, you know, since it only goes in a clockwise direction, I think, counterclockwise. That yeah, goes in a counterclockwise direction if you're facing it forward, so you can put drill bits in here. And yeah, it's a one-way drill. It's really loud. It's got a lot of speeds you can choose from. All the way from 5 to anything. In, it's like the it's the most precise tool. It, it can go from anything between 5 and 10. You can just adjust it and it's so precise. You could always go to 30 with 35, uh, I mean. And you can uh, crank it at a high speed. Now this thing is a really nice Dremel, and with the box that it had that it came in, it had this weird stuff that I think was for like uh, cutting circles out on wood and stuff like that with a drill bit or some sort of sanding bit. So yeah, I don't even know what it's for. Never used it. And if you guys know what it's for or anything like that, just tell me in the comments section. I would definitely love to know. And then uh, yeah, it also has this little thing back here that I have no clue what it's for. It's all I used it for is like to keep the wire away, which I think is what it's for, but I never used it that much. But basically, I just use it with the cotton wheels, like I said. Also, it has this little thing on the front that can unscrew. Also, guys, I have had a rechargeable Dremel that was a lot like this, except it only had four speeds. I don't remember what it was. We returned it because it was a piece of crap. The battery only lasted like 10 minutes. We got this butte right here, and uh, yeah, it didn't have this feature where you could unscrew this instead of using the crappy little tool, which I don't have because it's crap, and you can unscrew the chuck. Oh, it's so tight right now. With this little uh, wrench that's, in, that's incorporated into this tool, and it can take it out. Now, I've also bought a ton of Dremel kits, such as, hold on, let me get it. Such as this one and then the other one. So yeah, the other one is like the one that's a little bit bigger than this. It has a lot more parts. But this thing came up with the easy lock system, which I'd have to say it's a must have for the Dremel. The easy lock system lasts a lot longer than these discs do because the discs are a lot bigger and they clip in and you only get one of them and they're built to cut metal and stuff. They're not like these cut off. Wheels. Oh crap, I don't really focus and I just dropped it. These 409 cut off wheels. These are okay, I use these all the time, but it costs a lot of money. So the Easy Lock system works really good. And uh, also, you can use sanding pieces like that and cutting pieces like I just showed you. Some wire brushes, which are good to clean crap. And more sanding stuff and wooden sanding tools, which you get a crap ton of. Which I don't have it with me right now because I have to just clean my basement because, yeah, I need to rearrange it another time. Uh, and yeah, basically that's it. The only drawbacks I had with this thing, which I didn't really like, was that the chuck tightener and loosener stripped out. And good thing that it came with one in this kit. And then also the chuck itself just stripped out, just like the anodizing came off and it was all like silver because it kept just getting worn off. Like as you can see right now, it's starting to get silver. It's supposed to be all black, which means it's wearing off a little bit more. So yeah, that kit came with another one and it works again. Also, this is the button to turn it on and off, obviously. And then this is the lock button, which locks the chuck in place so you can unscrew it with tools. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what these things do right here and here. If you know, tell me, because I really don't know. Don't read the directions, because I don't really need to. But be interested, you know. But, uh, 
Yeah, and there you can see is a little cooling fan for your motor. It runs along the side, as you can kind of see, and works really nice. Tool never gets hot. Really good tool. Lasted for two years, still going. And uh, yeah, it works very nice. The only thing I wish Dremel would do is make smaller cutoff wheels because I'm a low C22. I mean, I really freaking love that car. And that chassis is really nice, and I don't want to scratch it. And when I have a stripped screw on the bottom because my hex wrenches are too worn out, I have to use the Dremel and unstrip the screw by making it into a flathead screw by just drilling into it. Then sometimes the heads are too big and they would cut into the aluminum, which happened to me a couple times, but not on my 22. So I just ended up shaving one of the wheels down and I just use that for it. But yeah, I wish they would make them out of different sizes. I mean, it's kind of bad, but otherwise, I really love my Dremel tool slash Dremel tool parts. I don't have all of them for this tool Thursday, but I pretty much explained them all. Oh yeah, dude, I just found the chuck from before that got all worn out. As you can see, it is completely round. And that used to look a lot like this. So, yeah, it just worn out. It's completely round, almost. A little bit of flat edge just to get the pl the pliers to use. I mean, I kept using the pliers on it from the beginning. It kind of rounded out, as you can see. It just slips. But, uh, yeah, otherwise... I love this tool and the tools that come with it, these Dremel um, little accessories. So, yeah, guys, hope you like this video. Comment, read, subscribe for more Tool Thursdays. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.